Hello, welcome to WebTime, the new payroll timekeeping system for innovative employee solutions. WebTime is our new convenient solution accessible from your PC or mobile device that allows you to enter your raw time and expenses, submit them to your timesheet approver, and send all information to the payroll system for payment. So let's take a look at the system. Logging in. Upon employment, you should receive a WebTime email from the WebTime system. The email contains the URL link to the website along with your WebTime username and password. Please click on the link to begin. This takes you to WebTime site's login screen. You can also get to the website by typing the URL listed in the screenshot. It is best practice to save the website to your favorites for future reference. On the login screen, this is where you enter your username and password from your welcome email. Also on the screen, you can click on the forgot password link to receive a new password in case yours has been forgotten or misplaced. Clicking the forgot password link will send another email to you with your new password for login. Entering time. After logging into WebTime, you come to the home screen, which shows you your most recent timesheets. The home screen also has a list on the left-hand side showing some of the features in WebTime. You can create new timesheets, view your timesheets in different stages, such as missing, open, pending approval, rejected, and approved, as well as a search fun function to help find a timesheet. You can also update your password, set your language preference, and log out from this list. Right now, let's focus on creating a new timesheet. Click on Create New. The calendar window will open. Select the first day of the pay period you will be entering time for. As a note, you can enter time as far back as 45 days from the current date and as far in advance as 17 days from the current date. Once you select a date, the assignment job screen will open up for you to enter your time. You should see your company name in the header along with the job number, pay period date range, and customer name again. If you're on an assignment for which you receive multiple rates of pay, you'll see multiple tabs for each of the jobs on this screen and can toggle to each one to enter time for it. When you're on the correct job, select the date from the drop, drop down on the timesheet line. You can speed this up by entering the first day letter of the day of the week. Next, tab to pay type where you can enter R for regular hours, O for overtime, or E for expenses. To see a full list of available pay types, select the drop down arrow. Tab to the in field where you can enter the time that you started work for the day. If you started work at 8.30 a.m., you can enter 8.30. The system will automatically recognize that the time is a.m. If you started work in the afternoon, you can enter 2 p. and the system will automatically resolve to 2 p.m. Continue tabbing through until you have entered your start and stop time for the morning and afternoon. Employees who are exempt from overtime will only need to enter total hours worked for the day. If you enter comments, these will be visible to your time card approver. If you have expenses, you can upload your receipts. You may upload one attachment per time card line. You can enter time one day at a time or your entire pay period at once. Save your time card, but do not submit it until all changes for the pay period have been finalized. Submitting your time card locks it down so that you cannot edit it further without asking your time approver to reject it. You will receive an email notification when your time card is approved or rejected. That's it. 
If you have questions, please direct them to your HR service rep at Innovative Employee Solutions.